not enough emphasis is placed on the hundred year physical fight that the Africans put up against the whites before the apartheid system was set up out of fear of the Africans. Now, now I'm dealing with the hundred year physical fight when the Africans didn't argue, didn't go to the table, didn't negotiate nothing, didn't go to London, but picked up their weapon and went to the battlefield and fought. It lasted more than a hundred years. But the war of resistance started after the death of Chaka. Chaka fought the wars of consolidation, and Chaka did not fight whites. Chaka fought other blacks who failed to come into the, come into the, to the consolidation. It was his half-brother that started the war of resistance. Now, once they defeated his half-brother, the British put a puppet on the throne named Impende, who ruled badly and misruled for 32 years. But the half-brother produced a strong son who reorganized the Zulus and put them on the war path one more time. And his name was Cachiwayo. He met the British again in a great battle called Asan Helvina. Here he literally defeated them. This is one of the best written about fights in history, and it's being taught in the military schools of the world. 